who is Muslim? Muslim is the one whose Lord is the creator of heaven and earth. So the Muslim is universal. He can relate to not only all human beings, but all animals as well. They are his responsibility. Everyone who is a Muslim, Muslim means servant of Allah. Allah is who? Rabbul Alameen, creator of all. So he has the responsibility of everything. Even ant is wronged, his responsibility. He will be asked questions. He is responsible. Any human being suffers unduly, he is responsible in the sense that he should be doing something. He can't just sit there and say, oh, I am fine. What's happening in Palestine? What's happening in Ukraine or anything? Muslim, non-Muslim. It's not about Muslim, non-Muslim. It is about zulm, justice. That when injustice happens, you feel responsible that yes, you should do something. Obviously, you should do something in lawful parameters, not taking extreme measures which is not in within your, like Rasulullah said, if man ra'a min kum munkaran, whoever amongst you see any bad thing, he should change it. The interpretation of hadith is that if you have authority, use your authority. If you don't have authority, speak. If you don't have that even, you can't even speak, then at least yourself shouldn't expect, uh, accept that bad thing. Don't become the part of it. Don't compromise yourself. At least distest it from your heart. At least save that one soul which is you. Man ra'a min kum munkan fajl yughayir bi yadi. Here is one said, whoever sees any evil, change it with the hand. Hand means authority. Fail nam yastatir. If you do not have the ability, fabilisani with tongue. If not, fail nam yastati. Fabi qalbi with your heart. What does heart mean? It means at least you don't become part of that. Don't say, okay, I can't have no authority, I can't speak, let me join the party as well. No, this is not. Then you are responsible for yourself. Then you can be held accountable and punished because where you had authority, you even didn't use there. This is the problem now. You don't have authority over others, other countries, other people maybe, but you have authority over yourself. You have your authority over yourself, you can speak to yourself, you can do self-talk, etc., etc. So at least use them. So that was one thing, inshallah, the brothers will be going in more detail of that, then you will learn more about it. Because it is, there is identity crisis in the world. People don't know who they are. Though, so they like headless chicken running, actually don't know where they are going. Rat race, hai, yeah, wo hai. because they don't know, they see, as they say, the crowd of the insane, they saw people are going this way, they're going this way, they're people going this way, this way. As you see with the dress code as well, fashion industry as well. Are they? The one, it was fashion for women to keep mushas. Imagine, there are pictures on the internet you can find. Now people look and they find it odd. And, but you can, they, that was the fact, they were, it was accepted that fashion, queens and princesses have mushas. Once they were fashion not to have bath for two, three months. If you are a bath, they say, oh, there's something odd with you, you are taking a bath. Every three, four months, five months, or sometime even a year, actually, that was it. So, clothing, other, sometimes skirts going up, going down, clothing going here, there, weird. Hairstyle, you see, sometimes they go long, sometimes people actually are keeping completely shaved their head, not because they want to do it, they're just following the crowd, looking here and there, oh, they got it, let's cut it half. That's not intelligence, that's not wisdom, that's not actually. Yeah, it is fashion. Who, who, who actually began this? They don't know. 
this for it so this is not one, but the universal muslim is universal universal standard islam gave universal rules for dress for figures and then that doesn't change even million years ago they still actually hold their own they are part of dignity they are part of honor no matter which country they belong to or which they are they actually are judged uh, in a, a, a better all other things wear so you can color your hair green yellow here they wear anything but these are not universal thing so it's a, so now today inshallah we will as you have seen here that if it if this lamp has li, uh, lighted and the lamp of marifa the lamp of Uh, knowing yourself then in the mirror you can see your story where you come and where you are if you were not if you were not actually heading towards akhirah there is no death then uh, things would be different but everyone knows you are heading towards that that's why the atheist people most question they ask oh but uh, this is happening on, um, on the face of the earth this is happening well their questions are right if there is no akhira because we they, we we believe there is a world to come where justice will be served and things etc and if there was no akhira then their questions are right their objections are right why it's happening things are happening the way they think. but when she say we are not on the same footing you have to understand from my perspective that i have believe in this akira as well and then these questions do not actually are not actually disturbing otherwise actually it is a matter that is why allah subhanahu wa taala shown in the story of sayyidina khidr and sayyidina musa al islam the things look some apparently wrong to you even musa al islam was surprised from the apparent doing of sayyidina khidr so what is the story the story is not story of sayyidina khidr musa it is story of whole of the earth and what's happening in there all the events apparently sometimes you cannot figure out there is something hidden and in the unseen world something is happening as well because you don't know so let side uh, atheists and others even say in the musa al islam was surprised not seeing the hidden not having attention towards actually the secrets why it's happening so one should actually no one has Uh, limited uh, field and and w- limited knowledge and things and refer to so the the next from these five uh, principles second is to know your creator know your creator now this is another problem when we do not know ourselves really how on earth we can claim or we know the the, the creator everyone has their idea in their mind about god which is different sometime to that one which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given himself so that's why uh, they're not interested they don't give preference or uh, they do not know uh, they fall into other things so mirror of knowing allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jalla wala so if you look this is also in darkness until, until unless a person have a flame a light which then can actually show a person the what who is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jalla wala now allah azza wa jal subhanahu wa ta'ala you look he introduced himself iqra bismi rabbik alladhi khalaq read in the name of your lord who created that first thing which allah jalla majduhu mentioned once a person understand this first surah of the quran yesterday what we mentioned was about the maybe one of the verses of the surah 
they tend to understand whole what's going on on the face of the earth and also they can understand the Quran and the Sunnah very well as well because these are the lights guiding lights which can actually then they can make sense of things whichever words whichever um, way they look uh, through the lens of this prism of this prism they can actually then uh, get to know the reality or come closer to reality so about Allah Jalla Majduhu, the creator who he is and now he is not a body which we can see so what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described himself like I recited Ayat al-Kursi or Surat Ikhlas and other and he mentioned his as you see this this is a tree of Marifa of Allah the Sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah's entity his Zat we even do not know our spirit the reality of our spirit how will we know where it came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we do not know so that's like a no-go area we don't have access even yes we have some access to know about the sifat of Allah Jalla Majduhu, the attributes so firstly ponder over this imagine you are existing you have an entity you are conscious I am Bashir I am Abdullah I am Nazir I am Javed I am this I am this whatever your name is you have a sense of knowledge and consciousness that you exist and you say okay this is me this is my house uh, this is my life and things imagine who is Allah that he was there and there was nothing else with him was alone and he had infinite sifat of Allah uh, he had infinite qualities and attributes and now as well he has and he didn't need to create you just think about yourself what your name is he didn't need you he didn't need anyone just out of love and generosity like a person a rich person if he has a lot of money plenty of money abundance if he is generous if he has the quality of generosity he's sakhi he would like to give to others he would like to give to others not because he need to give others but he because of that generosity because he has treasures now he likes to give to others so Allah Azza wa Jal is from his awwal and akhir first and the last he didn't need out of love and generosity Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Azza wa Jal decided let's give existence to some other creation who can enjoy themselves who will know at least who they are give them the opportunity to rule kingdoms I will create and who will have relationship with me as well and I will give them now if Allah creates and he said no I don't want to have relationship with you then okay we live and die Allah doesn't is not interested in it like in this world for example without any example there are many people who don't want anything to do with you if they don't need you if they need money they will come to you if they need applaud they will come to you if they need uh, some actually fame they'll come to you if they don't need like many princes kings and queens and very rich people you can't even see them they're not bothered they want don't want to they see the people different type of people of their kind they don't want to live with you 
Now imagine Allah is beyond every conception, every limitation, uh, and every even we cannot think of His perfection, how He is. If He decided to be alone and even created us, okay, they can have their life and I don't want to know them, they are some other entity. But no, Allah Jalla Maiduhu, first thing which He did was Creator gave us existence. He didn't need us just for us, just out of love, just out of wisdom and His quality because He have a quality of Khaliq. Like here it's mentioned, Iqra bismi rabbi kalladhi khalaq. He said, I, let's give them existence and they can also live life of enjoyment and pleasure and they can have their own kingdoms and they can have their own spouses and they can have own palaces and, and they can have pleasures and I will create food for them. This is all the, you may say, manifestation of one of the sifat of Allah, khaliqiyat, the khalq. 